the Northwest. Its beauty alone is inspiring, but the story of how its features were created is incredible. It's a story of the Earth's power, scientific discovery, and human nature. It's a legacy left by the last ice age, when floods of biblical proportions released from Montana inundated North Idaho, much of Washington, and parts of Oregon. I'm Allison Cartable. Come with me on a journey to learn how the Northwest was sculpted by floods. Tonight at 9 on KSPS. In the roasting heat of Namibia, cheetahs are in trouble. Here, the challenge is not only the desert, but the trap and the gun. Lisa Hansen may have found a way to give some of them a fighting chance. Next time on Nature. Sunday night at 7 on KSBS. You know Carl Reiner, the singer. Carl Reiner, the dancer. Carl Reiner, the lover. But did you know Carl Reiner was a comedian? Join Jerry Seinfeld. I think that Carl Reiner is funnier than Mark Twain. Steve Martin. I could stand up here for the next 10 minutes or so and honor Carl, but somehow this seems to be neither the time nor place. Dick Van Dyke. Mary Tyler Moore, Rob Reiner. Oh, is that good? And many more as Carl Reiner receives the highest American award for comedy. I know it's the Kennedy Center, but you know, lighten up. <laughs> the Kennedy Center presents the Mark Twain Prize. Wednesday night at 7 on KSBX. for any of my friends watching out there on this public television station. This is Red Green speaking, and coming up pretty soon is our annual PBS fundraiser, which, of course, has been a source of fun and embarrassment for all of us over the last few years. And this year, it's a whole new approach. We're still raising money for public television, but we're basing it on a real special opportunity we have to make a Red Green feature film. It's going to be an hour of laughs and a chance to be part of something incredible, so get plenty of rest and make sure your credit card isn't maxed out, because we're all going to need it. Watch for our PBS fundraiser special, Red Green Big Screen, right here on your local PBS station. On KSBS television at its best. Presentation of this program is made possible by the Friends of Seven and the additional support of community-minded organizations. Earthly Goods, Edmonton's complete source of quilting supplies. Earthly Goods, now located in the Lundrum Shopping Plaza in Edmonton, Alberta. By the quilt. We've made triangle squares, yes. and we have several of them here that we can turn. Presentation of this program is made possible by the Friends of Seven and the additional support of community-minded organizations. Earthly Goods, Edmonton's complete source of quilting supplies. Earthly Goods, now located in the Landrum Shopping Plaza in Edmonton, Alberta. By the Quilting Bee and Bermina, feeding the creative soul with quilting supplies, ideas, and classes for all levels of learning. It's more than a quilt. It's cherished, remembered, and handed down. The Quilting Bee at Pines and I-90. The Northwest. Its beauty alone is inspiring, but the story of how its features were created is incredible. It's a story of the Earth's power, scientific discovery, and human nature. It's a legacy left by the last ice age, when floods of biblical proportions released from Montana inundated North Idaho, much of Washington, and parts of Oregon. I'm Allison Cartable. Come with me on a journey to learn how the Northwest was sculpted by floods. Tonight at 9 on KSPS.
A modern autopsy unlocks secrets of the ancient past, disease. She had a painful life. Drugs. Morphine, which comes from opium. Sex and death. They all literally scream out life. It's encouraging the dead to live again. This old mummy has a story to tell about the ancients. Unwrapping the mummy on Secrets of the Pharaohs. Tuesday night at 7 on KSBS. Setting the standard for quality, you're watching KSPS, television at its best. Sit and Be Fit is a tone and stretch exercise program designed to strengthen muscles and improve joint flexibility. Not all exercises are suitable for everyone. Consult your doctor before beginning this exercise program. Our instructions and advice are in no way intended as a substitute for medical counseling. at the post Its beauty alone is inspiring, but the story of how its features were created is incredible. I'm Allison Cardival. Come with me on a journey to learn how the Northwest was sculpted by floods. Tonight at 9 on KSPS. This is KSPS, television at its best. The Northwest. Its beauty alone is inspiring, but the story of how its features were created is incredible. It's a story of the Earth's power, scientific discovery, and human nature. It's a legacy left by the last ice age, when floods of biblical proportions released from Montana inundated North Idaho, much of Washington, and parts of Oregon. I'm Allison Carterville. Come with me on a journey to learn how the Northwest was sculpted by floods. Tonight at 9 on KSPS. KSPS is your ready-to-learn station. We're working with teachers and daycare centers on creative ways to encourage literacy. Each month, we distribute more than 200 books to at-risk children. We also offer workshops for parents and caregivers. For more information about the ready-to-learn service, call us at 1-800-735-2377. The ready-to-learn service is made possible in part through the support of the Friends of Seven, the Parents for Public Television, the Spokesman Review, and Wells Fargo Foundation. Next time on Antiques Roadshow, we continue our visit to Austin, Texas. Another great hour of antiques and the stories behind them. <laughs> I'm just shocked. <laughs> antiques Roadshow, only on PBS. Monday night at 8 on KSBS. From the golden age of television <laughs> to the romance of the silver screen. One comedy giant stands out. Oh, is that good? Carl Reiner. I tried, I tried. Join an all-star tribute to Carl Reiner as he receives the highest American award for comedy. The Kennedy Center presents the Mark Twain Prize. Wednesday night at 7 on KSBS. She has seduced the world with her stunning stage presence. Across many musical styles, she remains a singular, unmistakable voice.
PBS brings you an unforgettable night with Sarah Brightman, La Luna in concert. Thursday night at 9 on KSBS. People who gave the money to make Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood are the people of this and other public television stations and the Sears Roebuck Foundation. People who gave the money to make Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood are the people of this and other public television stations and the Sears Roebuck Foundation. in the KSPS Kids Zone are made possible by Parents for Public Television, our friends of seven, and these community partners. Wells Fargo Foundation, dedicated to helping the children in our community become prepared for school and our world. The annual exhibit, Children of the Sun, showcases the talents of high school students from throughout the Spokane area. The exhibit will be open to the public on Tuesday evening, February 27th, from 5 until 6 p.m. For more information, call area code 509-354-5973. Funding for Arthur is provided by... Post alphabets, 26 little letters that make the words that let you share your feelings around the corner or around the world, bringing us all a little bit closer together. Post alphabet cereal is proud to bring you Arthur on PBS. Because a little teamwork can accomplish big things, Folks at LEGO are proud to help bring you Arthur. Juicy Juice. We're behind Arthur 100%. Of course, that's how we do everything. Juicy Juice. 100% juice. And by the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.